easy. I'm telling you, all you have to do is go to the Ted Nash studies and hire a monitor. But I bet if I went back and looked at the book, I'd go, oh, that doesn't work for me. You know, but that's, that's, that really is what I did. Been in the Doobie Brothers for uh, going on 18 years now. Wow. And we've done this tune called Long Train Running, and it's basically just G minor blues. And so, you know, when you're doing that night after night, uh, you kind of get used to it and go on autopilot. Well, they recently, uh, about two years ago, decided to drop it to G flat. And I have never really played in G flat very often. I, I found that to be quite challenging. And let's see if I can do some of that. Uh, in the old key, it was really easy. And now we got to do it in a different key. So, and it's well, I can't wait till they go down a half step more. <laughs> What's what goes after G flat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes I've been asked questions about uh, certain sounds and uh, styles, and um, like when you're playing your instrument and different things, like sometimes you can growl in the horn and get this really, you know, kind of, I don't know, rock sound. <laughs> you know, so that's just humming while you're playing the note. And then like Junior Walker used to do this really great thing. Uh, obviously he's not the only sax player that ever did it, but he would um, uh, like you do a tongue trill to make this really cool sound. I mean, I'm assuming that's how we did it. I, I didn't know how we did it until I figured this out. And then you just kind of go. Yeah, so that, that's just a, a flutter tongue. It's called, it's. Yeah. Yeah. So if you do that, if you know how to do that, you can do that while you're playing. It's obviously you got to get the tongue out of the way of the mouthpiece and probably get those corners nice and tight. Uh, I, I don't even know. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs>